Hi Andy, really good session again. The work you're doing is really taking shape now, particularly in regards to your posture today. And I'm positioning is much better, not as bent, therefore you look a much taller position at setup, which is going to help you create a much better and more consistent backswing. Now then, moving on to the work that we did today, uh, we look at the footage of Tiger over on the right, and we're taking to his takeaway. We were working pretty much on solely on this area here and this checkpoint. At that point, we want to get the feeling that the shaft of the club is going to point towards the left hip, keeping the club out in front of you. At the same time, I want to try and feel that that club face just rotates open, producing a little bit more loft on the golf club, giving you something to release in the downswing. Also, positioning the wrist in a much better place in order to hinge and work the club up during the next stage of your backswing. If we look at you now demonstrating this via rehearsals that we gave you, we see that that nice one piece move is apparent. Shaft of the club pointing in the direction of that left hip. So we're keeping that club in front of us, but at the same time we're letting that club face just rotate open a fraction as it works back. So we're not fanning it open. If we were to fan it open as we discussed, we get the shaft back here with the club face that's in that sort of position. So just because the club face is rolling open doesn't mean it's going to be fanning open. And the shaft of the club's in a good position at that point. And you can see there's a lot of similarities between the position you're in and the position you see in Tiger in. So you can keep up the good work on that bit. That in turn is going to allow you to set the club much better. As we progress the swing on, we see that Tiger hinges the wrist up as the arms elevate the club and the shaft bisects his right shoulder. In your swing at the moment, what we're seeing is a little bit of a, a revert back to your old action as you continue your swing on. Just take you up to that point. The wrist set back a little bit. They don't quite hinge up enough. Therefore, the shaft's a little bit below your right shoulder. Having said that, the position you're in at the top there is fantastic. And again, if we take ones up to the top, you start to see a lot of similarities. You're in a really good plane. You've got the club face in a super angle, and a good lower body position. The next area we looked at was this area involving your right knee. If we watch Woods, we get the impression that that right knee stays flexed. He's running it at the golf ball during his downswing. So it's almost like he's hitting that shot and hit that ball with his right knee as his club makes contact as well. So he's got that right knee running at the ball, not shooting out at it, but running into the ball as though he's hitting a shot. With yourself, what we're seeing, because you've attempted, if you were, you took it back shut in the past and had to attempt to open the club up during the downswing, we're seeing a right leg that starts to flex but then straightens a lot as we come in here. And you can see that right knee is working back away from the ball, legs straightening, shoulders steepening in an attempt to open the club face back up because of previously of your bad takeaway. So the thought that we gave you was to get that feeling that you're going to hit the ball with that right knee, you're going to run that right knee at the ball so we get more of a position that we see Tiger in on the right. Okay, good luck with it mate. If you need to speak about it further, you can either send me an email or pick up the phone. Well done.